Now, a lot of these items you've actually seen me sell before, but eBay came in on one day and just started removing one listing after another, after another, after another. And I was like, what's going on? And then I was afraid my account was going to get shut down. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Richard. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay where I buy undervalued items and I sell them on eBay for a profit. In today's video, I'm going to go over the weekend sales, letting you know where I sourced the item from, what I paid for the item, and what the item sold for. Also, too, a couple topics I'm going to talk about, but before that, let's jump into some sales. Today is Thursday, December 22nd, and we have six orders going out today. First item we have going out is an item I picked up at a garage sale. I picked up four of these Yamaha speakers, decided to lot just two of them together, buy all four speakers for $6. Would you take five for the speakers? You have ten on them. Would you take five? I'd take six. Six? I can do that. Thank you. Just these two speakers sold for forty-two forty-six, and the buyer is paying ten fifty-one in shipping. Next item going out. It's a thrift store item. It sees Gibson Christmas holiday frolic plates. Bought the whole entire set for three dollars on the back of them. These four plates sold for $21.71 and the buyer is paying $14.90 in shipping. Next item going out is an RA item. Didn't put what I paid for this. I had it for so long. Probably into this for $0.25, cents, maybe $0.50. Cents. It's a set of these eight. Paw Patrol flavored lip balm. Now, this is a very old listing. As you can see, it didn't remove the white background. Not only that, I chose a poor title. I just put eight count lip balm, chapstick, new in package, choose flavors. So, no mention of Paw Patrol, nothing like that. So, I'm surprised this even sold. This sold for $8.79 and the buyer is paying $5.30 in shipping. Next item going out is an RA item. I'm into this for $2.22. I had actually purchased, I believe, about 12 to 14 of these. They were the different ones. This happens to be the Mudasack, if I pronounce that correctly. They are Back Again, Gorigan Rising. This sold for $16.49. And the buyer is paying $6.55 in shipping. Next item, thrift store item. I only pay $0.75 cents for most jeans at my local thrift store. This happens to be a pair of Carhartt. They are Carhartt Relaxed Fit Tapered Leg Denim Jeans Loose Blue Work. And I put the number B17-DST, size 33 by 32. Now, if you're wondering how you know the exact model of the jeans, if you look at the tag, it'll say it right here. And see, these are B17-DST. All Carhartts on the tag have that. So, whether it's a jacket, jeans, shirt, it'll have that Carhartt number on it. These sold for $19.97. And the buyer is paying $8.20 in shipping. Now, I did list these down a little bit because they had some stains that you could barely see. But I did note that in the description. Next item, a thrift store item. I picked these up. My phone wasn't, wasn't getting a signal, so I kind of went by the seat of my pants. I picked up two of these vacuum cleaner bags. These are Regina Housekeeper Plus. And they're Type P. Wanted these two together. I did indicate open box. This one is sealed, but this one's been opened. 
I had to count these. So there is four in this one, and this one's got three plus a filter in it. So that's what I put up in the description. Regina, type P, seven count, genuine Regina, and four home care brand bags. This is Regina, and this is home care. I'm into each of these for $1.50. So cost of goods into this is $3. These sold for $11.27, and the buyer is paying $6.15 in shipping. Today is Friday, December 23rd, and we have three orders going out today. First item going out, thrift store item. Pick these up at my local thrift store. I'm into them for a dollar each. They are Wags International, just for keeps, classic dolls. Paid a dollar for each of these, so cost of goods is $2.00. These sold for $17.36 and the buyer is paying $8.20 in shipping. Next item going out, another thrift store item. It's this shark attachment for hardwood floors. Paid $4 at my local thrift store. It is brand new. It has the pad with it still unused. This sold for $22.95 and the buyer is paying $9.98 in shipping. Next item going out. Picked up a lot of dishes on a high bid haul, the one where I paid $2 for each of the lots. This was in the lot of dishes. It says Norman Rockwell going fishing. So cost of goods into this is probably about 25 cents. There's a bunch of dishes on that lot. This sold for $18.61 and the buyer is paying $8.39 in shipping. Okay. Got everything packed up, had another order come in, so I decided to go ahead and pull it and get it shipped today. It's this VTech 5.8 gigahertz cordless phone. It is open, but it is brand new. As you can see, everything's still sealed in there. Paid $2 at my local thrift store. This sold for $29.95. And the buyer is paying $7.89 in shipping. Today is Tuesday, December 27th, and we have 20 orders going out today. First item we have going out is an item I picked up on a high bid haul. I picked up a NASCAR lot that I was into for the whole entire lot for $36. There was some die-cast cars, some Hot Wheels, pennants. Sold most of the pennants off. I believe I have just one left. Sold this vintage, this Robert Yates Windcraft number 88. It does date back to 1999. So cost of goods into this is probably maybe like 25 cents if that much. This sold for $9.95 and the buyer is paying $5.50 in shipping. This next item going out, item I picked up at my local thrift store. I picked up a box of Hot Wheels stuff for $2.00. I pieced it all apart. I've sold a lot of the Hot Wheels stuff off already. Made well over our money back in it. Have made at least $80 on that box so far. This just happens to be, and I've already boxed it up, the track. It is Magic Tracks Glow in the Dark track. Pieces over, I put over 10 feet. It was just a little over 10 feet. Hot Wheels Matchbox Race. This sold for $9.95, and the buyer is paying $10.85 in shipping. So next item going out, probably not such a good buy. I thought, I didn't look up comps, but I thought these would sell for a lot more. I lighted both of these together. I'm into them for $1.50 each, so cost of goods is $3. I did get these at my local thrift store. These sold for $14.07, and the buyer is paying $10.71 in shipping. Another thrift store item, it's this Police Synchronicity Concert. It is DVD. It is open. up at my local thrift store for 50 cents. This sold for $11.58 and it is going free shipping. This will definitely go out media mail. This next item I picked up at the thrift store as well. I'm only into it for 25 cents. It's this vintage salt and pepper shakers. It is, as you can see, it's Santa basically going down the chimney. I put vintage Christmas Santa Claus salt pepper set boots in the chimney 
Christmas holly. Did copy the listing on this. Probably should have said holiday, but didn't catch that. Probably got cut off. This sold for $8.26, and the buyer is paying $9.40 in shipping. This so next item is actually an RA buy. I thought they would be, thought that these would sell for a lot more, but I'm glad that they're moving out. It's these Easy Bake Ultimate Oven. These are the mini whoopie pies. These did sell on Christmas, so the only thing I can think of is somebody got a Easy Bake Oven for Christmas, and somebody went and bought some refill packs. Why well, did two of these together? I'm into each of them for $2.16. So cost of goods is $4.32. These sold for $13.24, and the buyer is paying $8.62 in shipping. Next item going out is a pair of vintage underwear. It's these Hanes three-pack men's full-cut boxers. They do date back to 1996. They sold for $24.52, and the buyer is paying $24 in shipping. $24 in shipping, that tells me this is going more than likely eBay International or through the Global Shipping Program. This next item going out, another RA item. I picked this up. Picked up a lot of Christmas ornaments after last year. These things have been slow sellers. They've been selling year-round, but happened to sell this Harry Potter Hallmark Christmas ornament. Believe I'm into this for 99 cents. This sold for $9.09, and it is going for a shipping. This is light enough. We'll go out four ounce rate. Next item going out, this buyer came in and actually bought two of these. I list them individually. It's these Allen Cotton Cleaning Patches. Put Allen 250 Cotton Gun Cleaning Patches, 1.5 inch, 0.25 to 0.35 caliper, highly absorbent. I'm into these, as you can see, for dollar each. It is an RA item. These two sold for $19.34, and they are going free shipping. Seems we have a lot of RA items going out, one right after another. This one happens to be a Casio watch. Casio Illuminator Step Tracker Watch, black slash silver. Put the number. It is new. I'm into this for $7. This sold for $20.71, and it is going free shipping. I believe all my watches I had shipping on it. Not sure what happened to this one, but we'll still make a little bit of money. This so next item is a thrift store item. It's this LG water filter. It is brand new. The package is a little bit dented up. So I did list it down a little bit. I'm into this for a dollar from my local thrift store. This sold for $11.58 and the buyer is paying $12 in shipping. This so next item going out. You've seen me sell these before. Pulled the listing. And the reason I pulled the listing, now a lot of these items you've actually seen me sell before, but eBay came in on one day and just started removing one listing after another, after another, after another, and I was like, what's going on? And then I was afraid my account was going to get shut down, but I looked at the emails. They just said it. they removed it and there was no negative towards my account, so looked into it further and I thought they removed them because of an EPA number. Well, I thought I had to have in order to sell this. No. On each of the products, an EPA number there. In this particular case, on this product, each product is going to be a little bit different. But this one, an EPA number. You can pick that up on the camera. So after they removed all my listings... They didn't completely remove them. They just ended them. That allowed me to go back and actually correct the listing and get them relisted again. So I went through the ones and on the products found the EPA number and updated the listing and got those relisted. Some of the products, you've seen me sell this before. It's this liquid fence deer and rabbit repellent. Nowhere on here could I find an EPA number, but this was one they definitely removed because it required EPA number. So what I did with this, looked up other sold comps, and as I was doing that, I was finding out that a lot of them were removed. It said that they were no longer available, so I couldn't look them up. So I did find a couple, said that they were still available, looked at the details of those, 
and it did have the, an EPA number. So I went and copied and added it into mine and also got these relisted. So let me know. Let me comment down below. Have you been hit with this before where they require an EPA number? Seeing how it happened to me all on one day, went through and I did have some other things listed that were questionable so I went and removed those ones double checked those ones and I'm still in the process of re-getting those ones listed as well so after getting them relisted again this sold for $22.37 and it is going free shipping next item going out to thrift store item is actually a pretty good item it's this vintage 1977 Mattel so perfect three new cartridges New old stock, 2027, 20, original sealed. And the reason I put 2027 20, is because on the box here from Mattel, you can actually see the number on it. This is a repeat buyer. And the way you can tell that is I'll put a print screen right here of the phone. It tells you that this is a repeat buyer. So I have sold some of these before, so I'm fairly confident it's probably the same buyer. This buyer came in and bought four of these. Cost of goods into this is 60 cents each, but it does have a thrift store tag of a dollar. They had a box of them, so I went and I talked to them. I said, well, they sell me the entire box for a flat rate, and they agreed. So cost of goods into each of these is just 60 cents. All four of these sold for $86.16 and the buyer is paying $22.30 in shipping. Next item going out is a set of dishes. It's these holiday Holly French countryside dinner plates. They are 10 and 5 eighths. Now they are stoneware made in China. Picked up an entire dish set at my local thrift store. Only into the entire set for $5.00. This buyer came in and bought two sets of four, so all eight plates. Another thing I wanted to mention on these plates is that what I'll do is I'm going to wrap each one of these in the bubble wrap. And in case you're interested, I get my bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy. I'll post a link right up here. I have been selling a lot of dishes and I am running low, so I'll probably get an order in today. And American Bubble Boy will get it to you in two days or less. Buyer paid $33.12 and they are paying $16.20 in shipping. This so next item going out is an item I picked up at my local thrift store. They had a tote with a circuit cut printer and it had a bunch of cartridges. I decided to list all of these cartridges together. It's, it's a lot of 10. I put up here Provo Craft circuit cut cartridges, lot of 10, unknown link status on these there's actually a link status so i put unknown on the link status not sure what that has to do with anything but i think registering them or something like that not quite sure and i did put sold as is so never sold these before i seen all the other sold comps especially if they were open they put Unknown link status sold as is. So hopefully these don't come back as a return. That entire tote I only paid $20 for. Haven't listed the printer. I did power up the printer. It did power up, but I don't have a cable to connect to the computer. So I have no way of testing that. I'll go ahead and get that listed and just put powers up untested and sell it like that. These 10 cartridges sold for $53.08 and the buyer is paying $9.16 in shipping. Next item, thrift store item. Picked up these, the Sleep Styler Simple Set Sleep and Style Hair Curlers. They are brand new. Paid $2 for this at my local thrift store. These sold for $15.56 and the buyer is paying $6.60 in shipping. Have another one of these Allen cotton cling patches going out. Just talked about it. Into this for a dollar. This sold for $9.67 and it is going free shipping. Another thrift store item. It happens to be these duck head jeans. They are 31 by 32 regular cotton blue denim 
Work Pants Classic Fit. Been to these for only 75 cents. These sold for $15.56 and the buyer is paying $8.20 in shipping. Now this next item going out, I actually noticed I pulled the wrong item. I pulled these Your Baby Can Read and it should be the Reading Rainbow DVDs. So I'll come right back. Okay, back. I do have the right item now. You see, it's the Reading Rainbow PBS Kids. I'm into all six of these for $3. It's the Lot of Six Reading Rainbow DVDs, 14 episodes as seen on PBS. Have fun as you learn. They sold for $24.03 and the buyer is paying $4.16 in shipping. So this is another one that will go out media mail. Last item going out today is an RA item. I'm into this for $4. It's the Mad Men. Number 909, it is Peggy Olsen. Probably not such a good buy. Have been sitting on these for a while. Glad to see this is moving out. This sold for $11.58 and the buyer is paying $12 in shipping. $12 in shipping, this is definitely going out eBay International. So those are the items we have going out this week to go ahead and close out the weekend sales. Hope your sales were as good as mine. It's been a very good sales week for me. Now that we're coming to a close on Q4, are we going to start seeing a slowdown in sales? I hope not. Another thing I wanted to mention is we are coming to the end of Q4. If you have an eBay store, remember you've got to be able to use that coupon before the end of Q4. So I hope you found some benefit out of this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Also, too, if you're not currently subscribed, consider subscribing down below and hitting the bell notification. You'll be notified the next time I do a video. Until next time, keep picking.